ask me if I've ever been this excited in my entire life. No, I haven't. Today, I got a package from Hulu. Yeah, tell me about it. It's freaking exciting. What did I do to deserve such luxury? I don't know, but... I was expecting something today, but it was supposed to come USPS, and I saw this FedEx driver, and I was like, hmm, and then I look, and this has just arrived. <laughs> so the way FedEx works is by the time you see them, they're leaving. They've already dropped the package, and they're running, and that's what happened. The FedEx driver was leaving. And I was like, did they just turn around? What was up? And then I look outside and there's this box. It's crazy. I do appreciate it though. USPS, mm -mm, they'll knock on your door four times. I like to look out the window and watch them drop the package. I don't like to open the door. So I appreciate FedEx and UPS for like dropping and running. All right, so listen. I don't remember what I was talking about, but alright, we're just going to get in there. I waited to open it for you. Luckily, it got here right before I was about to film a video anyway, and I was like, you know what? Yeah, let me, let me open it. to do things a little bit slower or we're gonna have a 10 minute video and be done also I don't know how to take this out so much better with some nice nails. I have peaked. This is like as good as it's gonna get, isn't it? Everything's downhill from here.
Hi, Taylor. We're huge fans of your work and hope that you dabble in paint, too. We can't wait to see what you create painting alongside the master of good vibes himself. In the words of Bob Ross, there's nothing wrong with having a tree as a friend. Your friends at Hulu. This is so exciting. Well, there's a lot of green right there. I think there's an artist hidden at the bottom of every single one of us. Bob Ross. You're not wrong, Bob. So, what's inside the box? We have a plexi palette. Oh, yeah. That's nice. Sorry if you don't like. Easy to clean, three millimeters thick. Not intended for children 12 years of age or younger. Why? No one can know for sure, huh? Well, we'll keep that on for now. And then we have cotton stretched canvas <laughs> I had not even looked in here painting knife. <laughs> and it's white, so I'm gonna have to uh, be a neater person to uh, not disappoint my, my savior Bob. Liquid white. We have liquid white now. I am in business. The Bob Ross wet on wet painting technique is dependent upon a wet surface to work into. Liquid white is a very slow drying oil paint designed to provide a proper painting surface. Liquid white is also used to thin other oil colors for application over thicker paint. Mix liquid white thoroughly before applying to the canvas. Apply a thin, even coat of liquid white over the entire surface area using a Bob Ross natural bristle brush. Long horizontal and vertical strokes will ensure an even distribution of paint. Do not allow the liquid white to dry before you begin painting. Mix well before using and then with Bob Ross odorless thinner. We are about to be painting wet on wet. Finally. Let's see what else we got. One inch landscape brush. I am so excited to have Bob Ross brushes. <laughs> One inch. But that's 
that's not all. You know, it's a lot easier to take it out than put it back in. That's okay. I might have taken it all out wrong. two-inch background brush. Do not use water or water-based products. Fancy. These are like specifically made for oil paints. Oil paints, oil, oil. How do you say it? Oh yeah, that's nice. That's nice, that's a nice brush, it's a nice one. script liner. Oh yeah. A fan brush. Gotta have a fan brush. A liner brush and a fan brush. Oh yeah. See, the thing is, you can't find good fan brushes at Hobby Lobby. Where I get most of my brushes. This one is a good fan brush. Feel it. I can feel the quality in Sir Bob's brush. We have some Bob Ross odorless thinner. to thin oil paints and mediums and to clean brushes and tools. Place thinner in a covered container such as a coffee can. Clean brushes by swishing back and forth until oil paint is removed. Wipe thinner from brush with a rag or paper towel. Thinner may be reused. Cover container tightly when not in use and label with safe use instructions. Use only clean thinner when mixing with paints or mediums. Do not mix with acrylic paints or gesso. We have not one, I kid you not, but 
too. This is crazy. It's insanity. Oh yeah. And then we have the paints. And look at this bag. Midnight black. And they all have Bob's face on them, which is really, really nice. He's a very handsome man. Dark Sienna. Van Dyke Brown. Sap Green. Might not be able to see that one. Prussian Blue. Phthalo Blue. Cadmium Yellow Hue. Indian yellow, bright red, and oh no, a lizard and crimson, and oh no, nope, two more yellow ochre. And last but not least, the, the, the big boy, Titanium White. Wow. I just feel so important. All the colors. Put them all back now. stoked to uh, do a Bob Ross tutorial. I have all the necessary things to do one now. How exciting. It's freaking exciting, I'm telling you. I am excited. What one shall we do? Yeah, it's definitely all downhill from here. This was the peak of my life. Like, it doesn't really get better. I will never feel more important. Oh, about forgot the canvas. I so. 
thanks for watching. Huge, huge thanks to Hulu for uh, sending me something, which is really crazy. I'm super excited, really stoked to follow up on Ross tutorial now because I have everything that I need to do it. I got a liquid white. Yeah, I'm big time. I'm gonna be painting one on one. It's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be wild. So stay tuned.